Hello everybody, I'm here today with Susanna, my good friend and sommelier, that is here today to show us some good ideas of pairing between Loison cakes and uh, hopefully some wonderful wines and maybe beers. Hi Eduardo, hi everybody. I'm uh, here of course today with you to, as I brought some uh, gem from uh, Europe. Hmm, great. Let's see how they can be paired with our all year long products. So where do we start today with our trip? We are starting actually with a local product from uh, Vicenza, from uh, the Lucky Brew Brewery. It's a double, so a trappy style beer that has a 7.5 uh, 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 degrees of uh, alcohol content. So uh, we start with a fast pace. The color is uh, amber and uh, very, very dark. And you actually can already detect some uh, aromas uh, such as the dry fruits uh, and uh, also mature ones. It's uh, very captivating and the mouth and the sip is uh, completely full. The fervations is uh, really interesting as it brings you to another sip. With such a lovely beer, I would recommend the pear and spices filone. Our filone comes from the recipe of the treccia. The treccia was a cake made of fruit, as our filone is, just with a different shape. There are lots of candied fruits inside, mainly William pear. It's also enriched from the spices and the topping that is sugar, and I believe that will be a perfect pairing with the beer you proposed me. Wow, I really love the freshness of uh, this pairing and the, the mature fruits, the, the spicy completely stands out and it literally makes you to try it again. I have to say, Susanna, that this pairing is really well thought and the combination of the flavors you chose are perfect. So <laughs> you surprised me and I'm curious to see where you're gonna take me now. You'll be amazed. The following wine is uh, a nice wine a gem and a rarity. This journey stops in the north of Spain, in particular in Cerdagna. There is a Spanish enclave in France. Givins is a four hectares winery and uh, it was funded by five friends who decided to recover the vines of the area. This ice wine is very complicated to make because of the extreme climate and the high altitude, as we are talking about 1,125 meters. Uh, the nose, I feel clearly the, the pitch. A more mature pear and, wow, joined by uh, balsamic memories. So, what would be your recommendation for this wine? As it is, really fresh. I would like to recommend it with uh, our sbrizola, rice and mint. Sbrizola is a crumble bread that is really convivial as it is usually broken by hand. I believe that it's the perfect combination because it's light and delicate as the wine you, you proposed me. This is because it's made with rice flour and the mint donates a note of freshness. Well, I really appreciate the, um, the way that the uh, sparing uh, is taken because they really fit well together without losing their, their personality. Well spotted, this combination is amazing. I'm curious to see where our journey will take. We are just at halfway of our path. From Italy to Spain to our third stopover in Hungary, in particular in uh, Tokai area. It's a Tokai Shamorodni of 2002. It's a sweet wine called dry wine, even if it has a very slow percentage of sugar. The first time that I tried this wine was in a wine fair with my friends and uh, sommelier Nicolette. She introduced me this, uh, this particular wine and uh, she told me that uh, Shamorodni uh, has this name because it literally uh, means uh, as it comes. Because the, the winemaker, uh, in the vineyard, uh, gather all the kind of grapes, so the um, good ones, and uh, also the one attacked by Botrytis cinerea, all noble mildew. In uh, this case, the wine as a final product uh, results as a more intense wine with a higher level of uh, acidity, higher level of uh, sugar, and uh, with uh, more alterated aromas, such as uh, more intense fruits, more dehydrated fruits, uh, 
and the toasted uh, aromas. Mm. Particular wine needs a particular product. Let's go with uh, Bonissima figs and almonds. I would say is the perfect match. Due to this high percentage of acidity you described me, I believe it will be balanced with the sweetness of the figs and the honey that combines really well with uh, the dry fruit that you perceived in, so the almonds will fit perfectly. Personally, Tokyo, I really appreciate this uh, mix of uh, several aromas, such as the, the almond, the nuts, this uh, uh, final note of figs uh, in the mouth. I also spot out uh, floral aromas, such as the orange blossom or uh, a lovely dried apricots. Susanna, you actually really surprised me because you passed from Italy to Spain to Hungary doing so nice pairings between uh, our Loison uh, delicacies and uh, such beautiful wines. I'm so curious now, where are you going to take me? Uh, last but not least, we are coming back to Italy, in particular to Piemonte. We are exactly in the winery of uh, Franco Conterno in uh, Monforte d'Alba and uh, we are talking about Barolo Chinato. It's an aromatized wine that uh, once was utilized in order to cure illness and uh, diseases. Barolo Chinato mainly recalls aromas of a pear of uh, almond and uh, above all dark chocolate. Here I am with uh, our Tosamora that is made with a crust of dark chocolate. In the middle, instead, there is uh, a handmade salted caramel cream and the topping is uh, a frangipane of dark chocolate. To be fair, between the two of them, Barolo and Tosamora, it's actually a real moment of cuddle because none of them get overtaken by the other and uh, they simply perfectly combine yeah, throughout all the experience. As you said before, is um a real cuddle. Uh, I can um, really detect the, um, the hints of uh, Barolo Chinato, such as the heart, the undergrowth. The species cover a fundamental role in this wine, such as the cloves, the quinine, that uh, of course is, uh, is the name where this wine comes from. But I will say also this uh, elegant final uh, hint of rose. We got to the end of our journey and uh, we really would like to thank you for the attention you gave us and thanks of course to Susanna that gave us all the information. Thank you. Thank you, Eduardo. Actually, it, uh, it has been uh, also very easy for me to create uh, the perfect pairing with uh, this wine, but above all your products. Thank you to you all and enjoy.